What's up everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, today we're actually going to be doing some decor on my car if you'd like to call it that. So right now, um, as you see by the title, we got some interior bits from Japan. So let me show you those real quick. So if you know anything about the Japanese interior bits, you'll definitely know what this is. This is a Surikawa. It's a train handle um, from an actual train. This is not a rep one. As you can see, like the inside's kind of dirty. So I don't know who got this, but thank you. So now I have a real Surikawa for style. This one, this is actually, I believe an air freshener and it swings. It's a suction cup and it goes on the window, which I think is pretty cool. Right here we have a pat light. If you don't know what a pat light is, let me show you. So a pat light is basically an emergency dome light. Um, it spins in a circle. The Bozozoku actually used this basically to be rebels in a sense. This was meant to be an emergency light. Um, Nissan actually makes one, an OEM one, which is pretty cool. But it just plugs into your cigarette lighter and it's fun to have. But what I want to do, I got an OEM fog light switch for my car and I want to hardwire it into my car, which I think will be pretty cool. It looked like an OEM button. This will be there all the time. Also because I took out my cigarette lighter, so I can't put that there. So right here, these are Sailor Moon Cat seatbelt covers. Yes, Adam LZ does have these and that's where I was inspired to buy them. They are cool. Um, a lot of people like them. A lot of people know who it is, which is pretty cool. So these are fun. Um, right here, see it says ETC. This is a Denso ETC card reader. If you don't know, um, in Japan, this is basically their easy pass. You put a card in and then you're able to go through tolls. But I'm obviously not in Japan and I don't have a card for it. So what's cool about this is it actually speaks to you. If the card's not in, it speaks to you in Japanese telling you your card is not in there. So every time I turn my car on, that's gonna speak to me in Japanese, which should be fun. And then this last thing, I mean, people don't really put these in their car, but it's just a bracelet. Um, my aunts went to Japan and they brought it back for me and I thought it was pretty cool. So I put it on my shift knob and it's just a little, extra decor that's genuinely from Japan, which is cool. So obviously there's other Japanese interior bits you can get. Um, these are all the ones that I wanted. The only other ones that I could think of were the AC vent cup holder, a shift knob, um, and a dash mat. And actually I have a blinker extension in there that I'll show you. I will order the AC vent cup holder because my cup holders get in the way. And a dash mat, I don't know if they make one for my car. So I have to do more research on that or I'll get one made because that's definitely something I want. Keep the dash fresh, look kind of cool as well. Um, and then the shift knob, I'll either make one or I really do like my OEM one, which I might just keep in there for right now. But these are all the other interior bits that I could think of. Um, here's the Vertex blinker extension. I already put it on because it's actually super convenient when you have the quick release since the steering wheel sits maybe another inch or two away from the blinker stocks. So let's get to putting these little things in. So also the bracelet's kind of cool. If you look, I'll see if I could get it on camera. If you look through here, it's actually a little window. There's a picture in there. You see a monk of sorts with fire behind him holding a chicken and a sword. And there's some Japanese caricatures on the side over here. But uh, I might be able to get a better picture of it, which I can insert, but I think that's really cool. Also, I'm not gonna be installing the pat light yet because obviously I don't have um, a cigarette lighter and I wanna hardwire it to the button. And the ETC reader has to be wired in as well. So we'll do those on another day. So let's put all the rest in. This guy right here, nothing crazy. This one, go right here. I really like this one. It, um, come on. 
I don't know. I really like this one. It has the black, gold, and white, but it also has like negative stitching where some is shiny, some is not. There you go. See the flowers and clouds. I think that looks really cool. Next easiest one. Let's throw these seatbelt covers on. I'm gonna do this one handed. A little tag in there. Don't put it too tight, otherwise your seatbelt can't retract as easily. Now put it on the driver's side. There you go. So like I said, I'm not putting on the pat light or the ETC reader yet. Those we'll put aside for right now. So uh, next let's do the bye bye swing hand pop. So I don't know if I mentioned this before, but obviously these are checkered floor mats. Um, it is very common in most Japanese vehicles or people wanting to make their car feel more JDM. But what's super cool about these is it says Impreza right here. This Impreza badge matches my grill identically. So basically it's like a forest green pearl and then this is the eye is silver and then this is like a charcoal gray same thing here and if you look Subaru genuine parts so this is OEM which is even cooler than just getting checkered floor mats for your car all right now let's put in the floor mats. What's also cool is because these are OEM. Yes, I know I'm putting them over my other ones, but there's this little uh, holder right here. So it's not gonna slide under your pedals, which is super cool. Mm. Now you got the Impreza there, the red and red, red. Looks so sick, so let's put the rest in. Sick. I love that. Really brings everything together. Uh, don't mind that. <laughs> right here. this guy in. I can't move my seat up on this side because the fire extinguisher but let's see let's see get under there there we go last piece the puzzle looks sick back seats and again all the red matching Front seat, boom, boom, Omomori, blinker extension, the guy, the bracelet on the shifter. And then, one more thing, where are we? Now time to put this together and throw it on the back. I was planning, because I actually have that, I believe this is a parking pass sticker, um, I forget honestly. But I was thinking of putting it on this side. So you got one thing on each side, and then the pat light will go right there. This little guy. Alright. I don't know what it smells like. I think this is an air fresher. Uh, for air freshener. Not 100% positive, but it is. Kind of bummed about that because I love the smell of my car. Where's my knife? My freshly sharpened knife that my friends keep making fun of me for bringing up. I don't know. Sharp knives just do it for me. I don't know. Not too shabby. I don't like air fresheners though, so I can't wait till this stops smelling. 
my car will go back to its normal scent. I don't know how this goes. This is kind of confusing for something that shouldn't be so confusing. Oh, that end goes into, okay. That makes sense. So that end is round. Goes like this. Okay, okay. That makes sense. And this snaps on like this. And how the fuck does this sit in here? Oh, it sits like that. Haha. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Don't mind me. Guess I'm a little slow. Sick. Okay. So that snaps on this end. Boom. And then there's two holes in here. I snap in like that. Not even snap in, slide in. Ah! I've swapped out turbos, but... This is complicated for me. Hold on. Ah, look at that. Look at... Alright, that's sick. <laughs> Alright, cool. Now, uh... Come on, motherfucker. No! Damn it, I have dirty hands and I fucking smudged it. I'm an asshole. That's so funny. Alright, let's put it on. Also, I find it funny. People are buying these OK Subaru stickers. Or OK Honda, OK Nissan. But, I don't know what it means came with the car people are actually buying these to make their car look more JDM but all this came from the previous owner I even got this one and this guy still all on the car bye bye motherfucker hee <laughs> hee alright so let's see want it like so it can swing so like right there ish And all I need is the pat light right here, and I'm golden. And now the Surikawa. So I know the settings have changed because I had to go to my dad's shop. I was putting on the Surikawa or I was going to, as you saw, I was about to unscrew it and it was kind of tight. So put the camera down just to make sure I didn't strip the head of the, um, the head of the screw. And as it was unscrewing, it snapped. Um, it's weird because here, I'll show you. So if you look here, it's basically held together by what looks like a chain link for a bicycle or motorcycle. And I looked super close and on the back, you could see some of the threads sticking out, right? So then I flipped it over and you have the two the heads of the screw. So I go to unscrew it and it snapped clean off. I don't know why it shouldn't be stuck. It shouldn't be corroded or anything because it was in a train. It's super clean, but it snapped, which is very strange. I mean, you could even look here. It looks like a chain link, right? But but it's threaded. Um, so that's annoying. I was gonna put it on. I was looking forward to that, but so now it looks like I'm gonna have to drill out these old screws and tap it one size larger, which is an M4, because these come as M3. Um, so yeah, that's my only option. This is a genuine Surikawa, so obviously I'm not gonna let it go to waste was going to glue the heads back on and just have it for decorative pur purposes but I'd rather do it the right way so I'm going to see if there's any M4 screws that are at least 15 mil long and then I'll get a tap, drill these out and re-thread it so then I could screw this together and it'll look like nothing ever happened so obviously what was supposed to be a simple video or a simple install of things turns into this so I'll get back to you on that once I see if I could actually get some bolts for it. 
I drilled and tapped the linkage for an M4 by 0.7 thread pitch. Um, yeah, so now let's go put this on the car. Goes in nicely. Goes over the top. Press these bolts through. Oh, perfect. Look at that. It's on there. Um, so interestingly enough, the old bolts were brass and so are these plates. Um, and now I have stainless screws on here. Um, I think I'm just gonna patina these a little bit. My dad has some stuff in the shop that I can use. So then it'll all look like it came together and you'll never know I had to fix it. So there you go. Last thing on there, a genuine Surikawa. So really quick, I wanna show you the envelope the Omomori came in. It's pretty cool, obviously from Japan, so everything is in Japanese. But what I thought was kinda of cool was it came with a few things. So let's see. And these are them. Um, <clears throat> right here is what the Omomori actually came in. Just a little envelope, nothing crazy. But it says Nishiki Protection, right? Um, that you then can read about on this slip of paper. As you see, the first word says Nishiki Tenmangu, Tenmangu, however you want to say it, but this explains where it came from, about the shrine, and I believe about the um, Omomori as well, so it gives you a little background about everything, which I thought was cool. Here, I'll uh, let it focus, and if you want to read it, you can. And then, last little thing, just came with like a thank you card and envelope, which I thought was super nice. Um, oh, not sure if I'll ever use it, but it's just cool. Little things like this are fun to have. And then I got myself one of the AC vent cup holders. I mean, it was super cheap. I figured why not? And um, I got one. So we'll throw this in the car. I also got myself a boss coffee to go with it. So we'll put this in the car and with that little tab there, this should fit in this cup holder way better than the Boss Coffee fits in my cup holder, so it'll actually serve a function over just aesthetic. Alright, so we're going to put this in, Let's see what it comes with. Alright, so these little tabs just slide in on the back and lock into place. That's easy enough. This is cool because, like I said, it has this little guy for smaller drinks, specifically a Boss Coffee, and then this folds up as well. So if you actually need your AC vent to work, air will still come through without being blocked. So I wanted this on this vent over here, but this one just dropped completely down when I mounted it, so that's not gonna work. But on the center one, it actually holds against this ridge here. I could still press the AC button if I need to, even though I don't have AC, funny enough. But there you go. This will flip up, so you still got the vent. And then, moment of truth. Ah, doesn't hold as good as I anticipated. I mean, looks sick with everything else. Here are my other cup holders. I mean, that seems a little better compared to that, which completely can tip over and spill on me, especially if you're driving. That'll be horrible. That much better honestly so so what's kind of cool about this as well because it sits on the air duct it even says here this drinking holder fits onto a car air duct using cold or warm air to keep the drink cold or warm so imagine in the summer I got AC blowing and keeping my coffee cold I swear every little thing from Japan has a purpose and so sick so there you go that's all the interior bits that I was able to acquire Obviously, like I said, I wanted the dash mat as well. Um, but I'll have to do some research, see if I could find any. Or if anybody knows of where I can get one for a right-hand drive first-generation WX, let me know in the comments because I really want one. Um, 
But yeah, I also can't wait to get the pat light in the back window. I think that'll be sick, especially since it'll be hardwired and the ETC reader for when you turn on your car and it'll speak to you. So um, those will be another video considering that has to be wired in, but that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it because this was fun for me getting to, in a sense, decorate the interior of my car, give it some pizzazz or just bring the interior of the car to life and make it feel like it's actually in Japan still. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see anything else like this or you have any video ideas, definitely let me know. And if you want to stick around, feel free to subscribe. But until next time, peace.